What's going on guys? It's your boy Tony, aka Coke Boy Peking. As you can see by the title of the video, I'm gonna show you guys Warsaw today. I moved here last weekend for work. I will be living in Warsaw for quite a time, so I'm excited to see what the new city has to offer. So let's hope that you guys will enjoy it as well. guys so I just arrived at the central area of Warsaw it was actually only like a 10 minutes train ride from uh, my apartment so it's very close and uh, you can see behind me this huge Eastern European uh, <laughs> let's say palace it's the palace of culture and science so I'm gonna go up there and uh, show you guys what it looks like from the top to the other side and hopefully I can uh, find a place to go up. No doubt as the symbol of Warsaw, the Palace of Culture and Science is the tallest building in Poland and the eighth tallest building in the European Union. It is a reminder of the city's communist past as it was a gift from the Soviet Union after the war. Standing on top of it, you really get the bird's eye view of this massive city. I think I'm glad that I'm not living in the city center because it's super packed and, and loud. So now, to show you guys around, I will go to the uh, the old town. Along the way, maybe I'll stop by for some coffee or some lunch. After the city views, I walk from the palace to the Novi Svia Street, enjoy what you commonly know as the Royal Route. The Art Novo Street was decent, but it was more or less a walking street with nice restaurants. So I had rather taking a side street and found a coin cafe more suited to my style right around the corner. Computer, beer, food, nice cafe. This is how I enjoy myself on the weekend. Best way to do it. So, I just had a delicious lunch. They had some rad bagels, had a honey beer, so that was great. Anyhow, now I'm gonna go to the city center, the old town, and then, um, so see you guys there. Basically, this is the start of Old Town. As you can see, it's already there's a lot of tourists around here, and the buildings are much more nicer, more finer. But the interesting thing is that all this shit was destroyed uh, 50 years ago from the war, and uh, well, 60, 70 years ago from the war. So all this shit was rebuilt. So it looks old, but it's actually pretty new. site for anyone who is visiting the city. The facade of the restored buildings will definitely leave you all for a memorable time. 
for the next day. I set out early in the morning to go see the Warsaw Uprising Museum. Traveling halfway across the city, I was excited to see the infamous spot. However, despite my superb planning, upon arrival, I found out that the museum was actually closed for the day. Well, at least it looks cool on the outside. So I came early Sunday, first person there, and I get it rejected because it's closed for whatever reason. So right now, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. But let's not get demotivated. Let's devise a new plan. Since the museum was closed, and I haven't yet planned on my day, I end up at this very unique cafe in Hota called Parisop and Gallery, and I enjoyed a nice cup of filtered coffee while researching my plans on where to head to next. Despite the fact that the uh, Warsaw Uprising Museum was closed this morning, I stumbled upon this uh, cafe that I was just in called Paris Sob. That made my day. The staff was super friendly. I brought my laptop so I had the time to research what I want to do next. I think I'm going to go to Platz Zabiolichkova. Savior Square it's called in English. Just a check guy, found his beer. Hmm. Anyhow, I'm taking a break right now at the at the Savior Square. Uh, I like this place, it's got some good vibes. Uh, people are just mostly walking around, enjoying their Sundays. The first impression of Warsaw is definitely a positive experience. The Sprout Out City feels like a place where everyone can find something that they will enjoy. I'm much looking forward to live and further experience this capital city of Poland. See you guys next time.